So we've got a huge test today against last season's Champions League winners, Inter Milan. Of course, we bought one of their winners from last season's Champions League. So we've got one of their, you know, a player knows how to win on our side. But this is probably going to be the hardest game of the entire series yet. And welcome back to the Lincoln Loco. Today, two games for you. A huge game in the Champions League against Inter Milan, followed up by a huge game in the Premier League with Liverpool. So, two massive games and hopefully two massive results for us. Only two games played since you were last here. Uh, Carabao Cup third round against West Brom. We rotated the entire squad, so it's a whole different eleven. And uh, Wilfred Thomas scored four, which, which is pretty good going to be fair. He's a French guy who got on a free transfer. Um, after he left Nancy last season. Um, had a good goal scoring record there, so I kind of expected him to sort of carry things over a little bit. Um, and considering that we drew with West Brom, one all, had to rely on a penalty from Mark Hall to uh, secure a win in that match. For him to then score four goals against West Brom, I think it's a good good show. So we played him the next game as well against Newcastle. We played uh, him and Hammer Time both up front. And he scored two again. Um, one of them, a penalty. Another penalty. I mean, I'm not complaining that we're getting so many, but I think it's a little bit weird how we're getting... A ridiculous amount this season but he scored a penalty and a 93rd minute goal along with hammer time and botcher uh, to win four and against newcastle in the premier league so only the one premier league game it keeps it in that top three man united go ahead of us on goal difference arsenal still four points ahead uh, southampton sneak into that top four man city in fifth and liverpool the other opposition today are down in sixth right now so it's all tight still but there's only six games played so we can't be too excited and of course today inter milan is the first game which is going to be huge and apparently Apparently, we're favourites for it. You can see here, odds linking the favourites. Um, so, I, I was thinking, perhaps we're bringing a central defensive midfielder in here. But if we're favourites and we're playing at home, we may as well just go for it. You play our usual tactics. So, Stacer in goal with a back four of Duiti, Patino, Kaufman and Gomez. Jalapeno and Mertens in the middle. Morala Diaz and Boccia as that attack midfield trio with Hammer Time starting up front. I know, I was thinking perhaps we bring Wilford Thomas on up front, but... He's, he's, he's still unproven, despite scoring six goals in his last two games. He's still unproven, so we'll go with that. Kickoff is upon us here in this huge game tonight. Of course, I've said it too many times already, but Inter Milan won the Champions League last season. So if we can beat them, that really, really shows some good credentials that perhaps we could do it this season. We could perhaps go on and do very well in the Champions League if we beat them today. And of course, that would do wonders for us in the in the group stages. Barcelona already up against Malmo by looks of things. Morella, or well, Hammer Time rather, puts a shot well wide. But anything other than a loss here today, I think is a good result for us. Hammer Time, as uh, he's picked up a bad injury, set seven minutes in. Brilliant. Well, it's Jimenez or Thomas that we can bring on. Um, Wilfred Thomas, he scored six in his last two. Let's just bring him on, see what he can do. What kind of an injury is it to Hammer Time? Um, it's not letting me, oh, it's just got this weird thing. I, just, I can click on all these players on the right hand side, but I can't click on anything on this left hand side unless I click Lincoln itself. Right. I mean, and now, and now, but I can't see it anyway because he's not injured in that bit yet, is he? We need to go to tactics then, I think, and then go to actual tactics, and maybe it'll tell us here, right, injury, potential, potential foot injury. If he's off straight like that, that could be a broken ankle. So. I hope it's not. I pray. I pray it is not a broken ankle. Um, no, it could be a twisted ankle, but it could be a broken ankle. Oh, I don't want to talk about. It. it could be a broken foot as well. I don't know. It could be bad. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that after the game, of course. Into Milan coming forward now, trying to stretch their muscles. Trying to. That's not the right word, is it? It's flex the muscles, isn't it? But it doesn't matter either way. Whatever the phrase is, they've scored the goal and they've gone one 0 up. With their, I thought it was their first shot of the game. We've only, it's only it's us that's had the one shot. They've had six. So maybe we're not quite Champions League winning material yet. But there's still there's still chance. Something has got to change at half time. Because I'm tactically inept. I'm not really sure what should change. I mean, I feel like we have to go to more of a counter attacking system. So we get Diaz off the pitch. He's very rubbish. Mertens can actually play CDM. We'll bring Crazy Eyes on in this midfield position. We go to counter. We go to a structured shape as well. We'll keep the same, we'll get rid of high tempo. We don't want a high tempo, normal tempo. 
I th I think maybe we play it out of defence a little bit. Maybe let's let Patino and um, Thingy want let them be their ball playing defenders that they want to be. Play out of defence, pass it out, get it upfield, use these guys' pace, and maybe that will that will work. But we'll have to wait and see. Well, it could pay off right now as Morala puts a corner in Patino's header though. Uh, I don't think he actually won the header, to be fair. But Crazy Eyes with a lot of space on his right hand side gets a shot away and wasn't far off, to be fair. Uh, I can't I can't blame him for having shots. You know, we've only had the four in the game. So if you've got the opportunity, have a shot, really, I think. Free kick for us now. Mertens puts it in the area. Kaufman, free header. It's finally gone the back of the net. I think it was sort of headed between Kaufman and Thomas and then Kaufman and back to Crazy Eyes. And Crazy Eyes buries it in the back of the net. It's a draw right now. Puts us back on top of the group uh, for now. Obviously Barcelona thrashing Malmo probably. But Mertens with another free kick now for us. Onto Kaufman's head again cleared away but only as far as Crazy Eyes. Come on, let's turn this game around. Mertens on the ball. He's through to Kaufman. Kaufman in no man's land really for a defender. What a cross that was from Kaufman. Morala had to just keep it down but he couldn't. But I'm liking what I'm seeing from this tactical change at half time. I'm a genius. Okay, we're going to. I reckon we encourage the boys out there. Encourage them. Just see if we can nudge them forward slightly. Give them a bit more. Some, a bit more. Some, what am I trying to think? Well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Give them a bit more something. Fill in the blank here. Who can think of the best something? There'll be a prize. There won't be a prize. Merton's now through to Crazy Eyes, out to Dewey Tews, trying to get revenge over his old. I don't know why he wants revenge, but I'm going to say that he wants revenge over his old side. Cross to Thomas wasn't the best, but Kaufman wins the ball. Mertens loses it, and now here they come. Diogo is through completely. Oh, he's, that is a good goal. Completely caught out there. We were completely caught out. Should not have given them that much space and time on the ball. But, you know, for a side that have won the Champions League last season, they are clinical and they're going to punish us. Another chance now for Inter. I'm not liking this at all. Gomez... Makes a half ass clearance really to Botcher, uh, who plays a great ball at the Thomas. Now, Thomas, come on, finish this off. Get in. He's at, he is sick, to be fair. He is the best free signing. We've, he's, he's worth like £17 million now. Free signing to now worth £17 million. Seven goals in his last three games. What a player he is. If we can grab a late winner now, I will be over the moon. But it looks like Inter Milan are the more likely to do that right now. They have done. Okay, fair, fair play. He's got his hat trick. He's a sick player, this guy. Diogo, I'll try and sign him one day, but if we had to pay 65 million for a left back, we'll have to pay over 100 million for him, I imagine. Come on, boys, encourage you once again. Get yourselves up the pitch. Morala has actually played really crap. Um, it's, ugh, come on, Jimenez, come on. For the last two minutes of injury time, it's not really worth it, is it? But he's going to come on, see what he can do. Please, I'd, just, I'd love to get an equaliser right now. Um, and in fact, um, we'll move. A few players around. Go overload for these last few minutes. May as well just do it. Uh, not that it's going to make a difference, I don't think. As the clock ticks down. Throwing comes in, but that's it. All over. Lincoln 2, Inter, Milan 3. Now, I, I feel like I should be sympathetic, but we were meant to be favourites for that. So I've gone aggressive, and they all seem happy with my aggressive stance there. So, we'll have to... I don't know, we played better in the second half, I feel, with that slightly more conservative formation, although we did concede two. Hammer time, twisted ankle, out for three to four weeks, so we'll miss him for a little, he might miss both Barcelona games, actually, that would be very bad. So yeah, Barcelona beat Malmo, um, quite ridiculously, I think it was 5-1 in the end. And then obviously we lost to Inter, which puts us third in the group now, they're both on four points, but it's not the end of the world, still four games to go, still a lot of games to play, so... As long as we beat Inter Milan, maybe get some results against Barcelona, draws, or maybe just sneak a win, I'm still confident of qualification. Two days off before the Liverpool game, which is absolutely huge. If you want to cement our credentials as a, uh, a title-winning side in the Premier League, Liverpool is a game we have to be winning. Oh, the board want to extend my contract. Well, you know what? That's a fantastic idea. I'd love to have that happen. Um, they're going to offer me a new deal shortly. Our under-18s, by the way, have just beaten Inter Milan 4-0. So, I mean, our under-18s are having a great time at the um, under-18 or under-19 Champions League. They're having a fantastic time. But we just uh, we couldn't do it in the actual game, which is annoying. Oh, Leon Botcher and Mark Hall run us up there in the uh, Young Player of the Month in the Premier League, which is pretty cool. Um, I've noticed as well, Botcher's got accents on top of the O, which makes it like Bircher. However, I just have an incredible idea for a nickname. Rather than Botcher or Bircher, 
What sounds what sounds similar to that? The Butcher. If I, can, if I can type. Jeez, what's going on? The Butcher. There we go. I feel like that should be something. He's, he's ruthless down the wing. He'll use a meat cleaver to get past you. He'll sell you a dozen sausages for £8. It's The Butcher. There we go. On the right wing, uh, The Butcher who gets runner-up and Young Player of the Month. Fantastic. All right, here we go. I'm going to accept that current vision, whatever the vision is. Um, 15k a week. Now that's fine. Usually, as a manager, I try and push it up as much as possible. But I like to try and save the club money. So I'm currently on 12. So we'll just... 13.5 will do for me, I've got to say. You have a five-year deal as well. Incredible stuff. Uh, suggest that. They love it. They absolutely love it. There we go. New contract for five years. And I've saved the money club in the process as well. I've saved them two grand a week for the five years. That's a lot of money. It's 100k a year. Over five years, that's half a million I've saved the club. I am literally a lovely man. Right, there's a few tired faces out there, uh, mostly in defence. So Benteke and Bacholk are going to come on. Now, of course, Hammer Time is injured, which is not good. And Diaz didn't play very well last game. So, what we're going to try against Liverpool, this is risky, to be fair. Hammer Time is going to come off for uh, Mark Hall down there. And um, Wilfred Thomas is going to come on for Diaz. We'll, we'll swap him over. We'll make Mark Hall a complete forward on support for now. Uh, we may swap on later on, but I feel like that could be a decent little setup here, unless we lose, and that, then it's not, is it? Right, kick off upon us again. We're playing at home, but every time we play at home against Liverpool, they play in red and we play in some sort of white kit. I don't understand this. Why it happens, I don't know. The Butcher, though, on the ball, has had a decent little opportunity there, to be fair. Now, as I said earlier, this is a huge game. If we want to cement our credentials as a title winning side this season, Liverpool is a team that we have to be beating and we have to be better than we were against Inter Milan last episode or last episode, last game rather. Mark Cole with a decent opportunity there from the edge of the area really makes a decent save there. Liverpool, not well, I say not quite the force. They're, they actually did pretty well last season. They came third, didn't they? Only just third. They could have missed out the title by two or three points to be fair. So actually, I've, I don't know why I'm slating them a little bit there. Um, they're a decent side. Haven't been the best so far this season. That's probably what I was trying to say. They'll want to try and get a win against us, try and get their season back up. I mean, they've scored a goal there. So, as I was saying, they're trying to get a, a win to try and get themselves back on track. Uh, they have dropped down a little bit. That, I say that. They have moved back into second today. But of course, no one else has played yet. We're the early kickoff today. So, once other results go our way or go, go through, they could actually drop down to sixth again so it's it swings around about to Liverpool at the moment right a chance for us now with Mertens coming down this right hand side plays it into Hall who wins the ball uh, quite magnificently there to be fair now the Butcher coming forward an interception somehow and Mark Hall eventually gets it into the back of the net the first shot saved by the goalkeeper then puts it in the back of the net not entirely sure what happened but it doesn't matter too much because we've equalised Mark Hall with the goal he'll be delighted with that himself and uh, we're back on level terms now with Liverpool we could be seeing the future of Lincoln's uh, strike force, Mark Call and Wilfred Thomas. If uh, if Hammer Time gets injured again or just doesn't really pick up in form, he, he could be out. He could be out Hall with another good free kick there. I say that he did just win World Player of the Year this past year, so I, I mean he, he can't be. He can't be. He's got to be a Lincoln player forever now. The only way he's leaving Lincoln is in a coffin, or unless someone gives us like a hundred million. Maybe, maybe then I can think about it. I mean, nothing happening. In the second half at the moment. I say there's a highlight straight away, which is good to see. Uh, David Green makes a clearance Liverpool there. Still won't join me. Um, I've tried and tried and tried, but he, he just won't come. Morales shot. Saved by the goalkeeper. Wasn't the best shot, really, if we've been honest there. And now uh, they've got a chance to come forward again. Now Liverpool. Keita on the ball, though. But Chalk makes an interception there. Plays back to the goalkeeper. And his ball doesn't quite make Thomas. Although Jalapeno plays out to Morales. Morales with a ball through to Thomas. But Gomez gets in the way. That could have been it. That could have been the way through to break the deadlock in this game. Uh, Liverpool, though, try to come forward. It's back and forth at the moment, which is a little bit scary. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. I'd like to see us take control a little bit more, just calm things down under possession and um, just work a goal. But I, I feel like my team instructions are completely opposite to that. So that's probably why it never happens. Uh, I'd want it to, but I just don't set it up like that. Radin does score a goal, though. So we've got to go and try and score something now. Chance for us now. 75th minute. Bacholk into Morala. Morala, we need to try and get an equaliser. We've just lost possession. Radin has been put forward again in behind the defence. <sighs> this has not been a good episode. I mean, he has played woefully. He has played so bad. He's had seven goals in his last three games and decides to only play like a 6.0 today. That is rubbish. Diaz, get yourself on the pitch. Redeem yourself 
from last game. The wingers have played rubbish as well, so we're going to change everything. Uh, Jimenez and Lukasic coming on the pitch. We've got to go overload in these last 10 minutes or so, just see if we can do something. Hall on the ball then, plays it to Diaz. Diaz gets through nicely, but the keeper makes a decent save there. That could have been a golden opportunity for us to try and get our noses back into this game somehow. Uh, Benteke hits the post from the resulting corner. I think we're just going to be unlucky today. Oh, four. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 4-1. Wow. Okay. Not the episode we wanted, all the results we wanted. Our first two losses of the season, the first in the Champions League, first in the Premier League. It's not good. Next episode then, it's, it's Barcelona and Leicester. So be prepared for another pummeling, I think. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you next time for some more Lincoln Loco action.